coming into your YouTube airwaves, it's Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo, how is everybody doing this wonderful afternoon? And welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into this video, guys, let me introduce myself. I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me at, on Twitter at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to week 11. Week 10 is now in the books and the pretenders are starting to separate themselves from the contenders. I wanted to change it around a little bit, guys. So this week, we have some great games on tap, guys. If you look at the Atlanta and New Orleans, that's going to be a great game. Detroit at Carolina is a game that a lot of people will overlook. I will have a lot of exposure to this game. Um, I like the Philly at Cleveland game for running backs, but I'm not sure if I will roster anybody in this game. Maybe the defenses because in Cleveland over the past few weeks, it's been very windy. You don't want to play receivers when it's when the, the field conditions are very windy. That's when you want to play your defenses, guys. So that's a little free tip it for you guys when you're doing your DFS lineups. Um, Sunday morning you want to check the weather at every city DFS it's not something you can just randomly pick players and win guys I'm telling you some good nuggets if you think you can just randomly plug players in and you go with all stars or whatever you're gonna lose if you listen to ESPN you're gonna lose you have to do your research or you have to find one or two people that you trust and use their players and then do your own diligence it takes hours and hours and hours to get good at this all right so next you got New England at Houston all right, New England at Houston is a game that it's going to be an interesting game because Houston doesn't stop the run well, and New England is the best running team in the league. So that's going to be an interesting matchup. Next, you got Tennessee at Baltimore. That's a revenge game. Tennessee put the smack down on Baltimore last year, so we'll see if Baltimore is up to the challenge. All right, Pittsburgh at Jacksonville. Pittsburgh has a chance to go undefeated. And for fantasy purposes, I love Pittsburgh receivers in this matchup. Um, Connor should have a bounce back game if they give him the ball. But Pittsburgh, they appear to be set on a pass first team. So Connor might not have much fantasy value moving forward. Cincinnati at Washington. I love this game. You have two teams that can score. And Cincinnati's quarterback is mistake prone because he's a rookie. You know, but Burrow is the real deal. I love this matchup as well. Miami at Denver. I want to see how Tunga Tua Vailoa is with deep, with fantasy points going into Denver when the altitude is what it is. It's you, it's tough to get your oxygen. So I want to see how he is going to perform in the third and fourth quarter in that matchup. But I'm leaning more towards Denver. This might be the week where Tua Tunga Vailoa struggles. The New York Jets at the Los Angeles Chargers. I love this matchup. If Joe Flacco starts, I like it even more because Joe Flacco, is he still throws one of the prettiest deep balls in the league. And I believe that Joe Flacco and Perryman and Mims is going to connect. I love Mims and Perryman in this matchup. Um, next, Green Bay at Indianapolis. This is the one game that I probably will stay away from and it might bite me in the ass because all of the games that look bad on paper be the highest scoring. This will be a game where Aaron Rodgers will throw for 370 yards and four touchdowns. And then you'll look at Indianapolis. You won't want to run their running back, the one that's been struggling, and he'll come out and get you 25 fantasy points. It's always like that. It's always the games that you don't look at that gives you the most fantasy points. And last, you got Dallas at Minnesota. Dallas has been playing better on defense, but Minnesota is just too strong at home. So that's that. All right, let, let, now let me just go ahead and give you the players that I'm going to use because I don't want to take up a lot of you guys' time. I'm going Justin Herbert. He's just one of the best rookies I've seen in a long time. I haven't seen a rookie this good in a long time. Look at his numbers, guys. 21. He just 20 all season. And against the Jets, I think he goes for 35 plus. I'm going to use Herbert in my million dollar tournament. I'm going to actually run this run Herbert. I'm only using two quarterbacks this week and he's going to be one of them. Actually, I'm going to run three this week. I'm going to have two for um, GPP and then one for cash. All right, next at the running back position, you got Kamara. He doesn't have big games against Atlanta. I know a lot of people will stack him in, in this game. You got Cook. I'm going to go Derrick Henry, guys. Now listen to me. This is contingent on one thing. You got to check with Baltimore to see if Calais Campbell and if Brandon Williams are out. If they don't play, run Henry. 
If they do play, Henry won't get 50 yards rushing. So make sure, again, Calais Campbell and Brandon Williams, if they, if they do not play for Baltimore, then I'm playing Derrick Henry. All right, at the running at the wide receiver position, I'm giving you guys Keenan Allen. Don't be shocked if Keenan Allen gets you 30 points. I think he's going to lead all wide receivers in targets, um, receptions, and I believe he gets into the end zone. I believe he's going to catch about eight or nine balls for about 140 yards and a touchdown. He's my favorite wide receiver on the slate. And last but not least, the boomstick play of the night is none other than... Eric Ebron. He will be the only tight end that I'm going to roster this week. So if he bites me in the butt, so be it. But I just love this matchup. I feel like he catches six balls for about 60 yards and a touchdown. I think he gets into the end zone. And if he don't, I'm willing to live or die. But I'm I'm going to just play one tight end this week. All right, so that's it, guys. Ebron, Allen, Henry, and Herbert. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. If you made it this far, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and also the subscribe button. And if you used to used to follow me two years ago or a year ago, this is not the same channel. So please resubscribe and leave a comment, guys. Let me know if you like what I've done and good hunting on all your DFS contests. Love you guys.